Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ACB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I'll let you this time frame and does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Thursday, and I mean, I'm not patting myself on the back here, but I'm definitely gonna pat charts on the back. If you watched yesterday's video on Thursday, uh, then I, you, I talked about this green line here as support, and you can see the price fell down, and then I promise you I have not moved that green line. If you don't believe me, that's fine. You can just go back and watch uh, the video from the archive uh, on Thursday and went down there and bounced just absolutely beautifully right off that level. Again, I'm, I'm not patting myself on the back, but definitely charts. And are charts perfect? No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is they're definitely worth learning. They're definitely worth putting in your, your, your tool belt as a trader. So as far as well, really, as far as updates are concerned, there aren't really any updates because everything is still the exact same it was on Thursday, meaning uh, because this bounce was so powerful, it got back above this other area of support too. So yeah, $8.30 right here, uh, or 8.33. Let's just make it 8.30 easier to remember, but 8.30 is still gonna be that initial er area of support, uh, and then you still do have the level down here at $8.15. So again, support levels going into next week, like I said, preferable one, the one that would make this bounce uh, look the healthiest is definitely staying above 8.30, but if that one doesn't hold, then the next overall level would be at 8.15. As far as levels of resistance, again, nothing new to here to report. You still have the level up here at $8.50 represented by that red line, but also keep a very close eye on the purple line uh, because that is the 50 period moving average Moving meaning as Monday plays out, that purple line is going to cross down below the 850 mark. And when that occurs, the 50 period moving average then has higher priority. In, in other words, that would be the initial hurdle that first needs to be crossed. And then you could turn your attention back to 850. As things stand right now, yes, technically speaking, 850 is still that near term level, but it's only a matter of time before on Monday, that purple line, like I said, crosses down below that area. And then at that point, it would become uh, you know the near term and higher priority level. But overall, no doubt about it, rough start, but a very nice bounce. So we'll see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.